Hello everybody, this is Marjo here on YouTube. Today we have this makeup look for all of you. So uh, basically I wanted to play with yellows, but I didn't want to just do a yellow colored um, look, which I am going to do. But today I wanted to go a little bit crazier, so I decided to go with this look. And if you guys want to learn how to get this look done, then keep on watching. So I already have my eye primed. Uh, and I used my, um, where is it, my Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. This is a medium. Now I'm going to set my eye and I'm going to be using an Inglot eyeshadow, which is this one right here. And just apply lightly to my eyelid. So today we are mostly going to use this palette. This is the Freedom System palette uh, by Inglot Cosmetics. You guys, haven't, if you guys haven't been subscribed to my channel for long, you probably won't know this, but these are a few of the first eyeshadows that I ever professionally owned and they are still some of my favorites. So we're going to be using this and a few eyeshadows from the Murphy uh, 39A palette. I'll be using Bibbit, which is this color right here. And I'm going to be using that on the crease. This is going to help me define where I want my colors. So I'm pretty much not even doing it in the crease. I'm doing it on the outer corners of the eyes and the inner corner of the eyes as well. So I'm just applying some more shadow here, some more shadow here, a little bit in the middle just to kind of connect both of them. Okay. So I'm just gonna, and then with the same shadow, with the same eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna blend this out. Is create by the Murphy palette which is this one right here so I'm gonna be using that in that same eyeshadow brush actually lies I'm gonna be using an Urban Decay um, eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna be placing that here in the outer corner just a little bit just to know where I'm placing the eyeshadows as well I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow brush that I was using before. And I'm going to be taking this yellow tone first and then I'm going to top it with this one. This one has sparkles on it. This one is matte. So I'm going to first grab the matte one and just start applying it little by little to my eye. I'm kind of making them both colors meet. I'm also overlapping them. So in the next part where I put more pink, I'm going to be overlapping the yellow and the pink. So just a little bit now, I'm going to be... I'm going to start blending. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that create just to add more pop um, of color. A blending brush and start kind of blending 
and smoking out this pink. more shadow I'm gonna use passion which is this color right here and I'm gonna mix a little bit of forever just a tiny little bit so it will become a little bit darker but not too much with that same urban decay eyeshadow brush I'm just gonna start placing that onto the outer corners where I want the most darkness gonna do my eyeliner this is the same eyeliner I always use you guys know it by now this is the Urban Decay perversion what is it called waterproof fine point eye pen eyeliner So we have that, now I'm gonna do my under eyes. I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Wayless Complete Coverage Concealer in Medium Light. The M433 brush, like I always do, and just use the first coral color. And I'm gonna use just a tad bit of passion, which is the darker color. And just kind of connect both eyes. Okay, got that. Now we are gonna do some lashes. You guys can use fake lashes if you want to. Right now, I'm not going anywhere, so. You know the drill. And I'm not even gonna apply that much mascara right now because I'm gonna be taking this makeup off in a second. So for lips, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite things. This is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Rikujin. I don't know how to say that, but you guys know the drill. Yeah, you guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye.